Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, this is going to be the last video in the bedroom makeover series. And in this video, I'm gonna be sharing some of my favorite styling tips and how I like to style my bedroom. Of course, everything that I like to do is always on a budget, so I will be sharing my favorite tips and tricks for that, as well as a quick DIY project. And if you have not caught the prior two videos in this series, one is painting a black accent wall and a headboard DIY. I will be sure to link those videos down below in the description box so you can check those out as well. So starting with these nightstands, I just couldn't have the heart to throw them out and get new ones. One, to save money. Two, because a fresh coat of paint will always change the look of something. And these are kind of sentimental only because these were a Craigslist find from when we were first married, which is almost 10 years ago now. And the old man who sold them to me gave them to me for two for $25 and it was just really sweet and I still love them 10 years later. I do have a little bit of touch up work to do on the paint, but um, I'm really happy with the condition that they're still in and that they still look so cute. So a quick budget friendly tip that I have is I like to combine new books with old books just to be a little bit more friendly on your budget. So you can go to the thrift store and find tons and tons of hardback books. I like to take the covers off and I always um, keep an eye out for blacks and grays and white books. Um, and then I mix them in with newer books or something that I'm reading. And this way you're still getting that styled, pulled together look that you want without the hefty price tag. So for the top of these books, I found this is actually the bottom of a vase. And I thought it would be really cute to just hold jewelry. It was something that I had laying around and I thought it was just perfect for like a little jewelry dish. So I added that right on top. And quickly going back to the book. So sometimes I do like to display the titles and authors, but sometimes for like a tabletop or if you're looking for that really clean look, I like to flip the books over and just show that clean white side and it makes everything look a little bit more simple. And I always like to add a little bit of ambiance and this is just a candle that I picked up from Home Goods. And speaking of home goods, I found these black and brass modern lamps while I was there. And my favorite part is they have a USB port in the side so you can charge your phone at night. And to me, it just kind of feels a little bit more hotel-like. Um, so that was my favorite part. But although you can't get these right now at home goods, I will link some very similar ones that I found for you guys on Amazon. And I always love to bring a little bit of life and greenery to any space, whether they're faux or real. That is one of my favorite things to bring into a room is plants. And for the second nightstand, I am stacking these three books on top of this decorative little tray that I found at Ross. And I love this tray because it has a lot of texture with the wood and these leather handles are just to die for with the detail. I just love it. It kind of makes its way around the house, but I thought it was perfect for this space. And a fun little piece that I wanted to add to this nightstand was this twin bell little alarm clock and I thought it was so cute just because it matched the lamps but I will link a similar one that I found on Amazon as well. So this is another budget friendly tip I like to use with pillows. So I will splurge on one statement type pillow. For example, this black and white patterned pillow was definitely a splurge for me at $30. Um, from home goods while the two black pillows in the back were actually just covers that I found on Amazon for $15 for two. So I like to mix inexpensive with a little bit more pricey um, just to keep the budget going a little bit further. Now starting on this quick DIY, I found this little piece of scrap wood in the garage and I thought it was actually the perfect size to fill this little empty wall that I had. 
So this wood did have a little bit of jagged pieces and some sharp edges on it. So I went ahead and sanded all those off and made it pretty smooth. It did have a little bit of an imperfect look, which was what I kind of loved about it. So using the same stain that I used on our headboard, which is the Min Wax in Dark Walnut, I just went ahead and put a coat of that. So my vision for this piece was that it could be something that I could put hooks on and it would be a very simple catch-all, something that I could throw hats on or a little bag and it just be right there at the beginning of my bedroom. And after I got everything stained, I left this outside for about a day and a half to dry. And I kind of had a certain look that I wanted, so I went on Amazon looking for the hooks and I got really lucky to find this pack of 10 hooks for less than $14. And I was kind of excited because I would have a lot left over for other projects, so I thought this was a really good deal. So I guess if you want to be really thorough, you can measure all of these out and do the perfect distance apart. I personally just eyeballed them and placed them where I thought they would look good, and then I marked them with a pen where I would need screws and went from there. Now I did alternate between using the drill and a screwdriver. These are a little tricky just because the hook does get in the way when you're trying to screw that bottom row in, but it worked. And this little box of picture hangers that I got from Big Lots always comes in handy. I was able to just nail these in on the back to give them a little backing to hang on the wall and they were pretty easy. Like I said, this is meant to be a little bit of a lighter catch-all, so um, I'm probably not going to be hanging anything with a substantial amount of weight, probably just light bags and things like that. So this is the empty wall that I felt like it really needed something and it was a perfect space to put a little catch-all hook type decor. So using two nails, I just nailed those in and hung the hooks up and it looks so cute. So this is one of my favorite bags. My mom got this for me and it is the feed bag. And for every bag that you purchase, there is a number on the back and this one has a number 10, so it will help feed 10 children around the world. So if you're interested in that, I will also link that down below. And another quick tip I have, this one is for furniture. I like to visit local warehouse stores. Now this is a crate and barrel warehouse store. So they will bring things in that are damaged or that need a little bit of work or things that aren't selling in the store for some reason. They bring them in and mark them down. Now lots of stores have these, Pier 1, World Market, Crate and Barrel, Ashley Furniture. And I was able to snag this dresser regularly almost $1,400 marked down to $120. I have to fix that little drawer on the bottom, but that's okay. I'm so happy with this purchase, so don't be afraid to check out your local stores like that. And drapes are one of my favorite things to add to a room because it changes things so dramatically and I feel like it just puts the last finishing touches on any room. These drapery rods I found on Home Depot's website and I was able to get these picked up in store and they're very inexpensive. I chose to stick with the white linens just because I wanted to keep a very fresh and airy and simple look to this room. And let's take a quick trip back down memory lane. This is what our room started with and we had blankets on the windows and a lot of white going on. What started as a farmhouse style in our old house kind of carried on over to this house, but I just feel like this house has a little bit of a different style, so I wanted to incorporate that into our bedroom. I'm so glad that we decided to make these changes and make it a space that we feel really happy in and that we love to be in now, and it is comfortable and practical. We didn't get to the ceiling fan, but we can save that for another project, but ultimately I am very excited that this turned out the way it did.
And this quick little DIY hook was one of my favorite things of all from this bedroom, surprisingly. Um, it just looks so cute styled and it's just so practical for that little entry space and I really love it. So I hope this video gave you any ideas or tips and tricks or anything that you're looking for if you're looking to make some changes to your bedroom. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more upcoming videos and we'll catch next time guys. Thanks for watching.